Hello, my name is Professor Simone Medal. I'm the Mary Tick Chair of Physiology here at the Vet School and I work at the Roslyn Institute. I'm a Professor of Behavioural Neuroendocrinology. So my research spans across different species. I'm mainly an avian uh, neuroendocrinologist. I study birds and look at the impact and effects of the environment on early life and how that affects um, animals' welfare or the birds' welfare. Um, once they've grown up into adults. So one of my research projects is to understand how stress affects um, animals later on in life. So early life stress, uh, for example, in birds, um, a hormone called corticosterone, which is a stress hormone, gets deposited in the egg by the mother, and that can change the outcome of the chicks when they, are, um, when they grow up to adults in, in later life. Um, another important area of research we were in my lab is looking at the effects of light during life. So light plays a very important role in everyone's daily routine. So it sets our, our circadian rhythm um, and trains it to the light dark cycle. But we also um, want to understand how light affects seasonal breeders. So for example, birds are, are seasonal and they breed when days get longer. Um, we also want to understand how this light is important for early life in the egg. So understanding how different wavelengths of light, intensity of light can affect um, timing of hatch, um, hatch windows in, in chickens and also in Japanese quail. So why is this research important? Well, it has a huge impact on, um, in, on welfare. For example, in chickens, um, if we can house chickens and understand what, what makes them stressed, we can't ask them with a questionnaire, but we can certainly measure the effects on their behaviour and the effects on their brain and, and secretion of stress hormones to understand how their environment can be better adapted um, in housing conditions in the future.